Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to create a corpleth map or heat map of um, some data for US counties. So first things first, let's get hold of the shape files and the data. So if you click on the two links below the video, one will take you to the poverty data for US counties and the file you want is this one here, the EST10 all XLS file. So download that and the shape file you're going to want is the 500k CB 2013. Now I use the Census Bureau shape files instead of the Tiger shape files because the Census Bureau ones have the counties clipped to the coastline, um, whereas the Tiger ones extend out into the sea. Um, and I think the Census Bureau ones are better, so that they because they basically look more like the uh, coastline that you'd expect. So download those two files, and then let's go to QGIS and load them in. So first things first, let's get our shape file. Load in the shape file. So there's our county shape file. And the next thing we want to do is open up the XLS file in Excel. So let's open that up. Okay, that's quite a large file. But the only columns that we were interested in are the, the first four, which give the um, state FIPS code and the county FIPS code, um, the postal um, letter code and the name of the county. And the other column we're going to be interested in is the percentage of poverty for all ages. Now, when you're doing a heat map or corpleth, it's better to use percentages than absolute figures because obviously county has more population yet then the figures are going to be higher so if you use the percentages then that evens it out for everything so i'm just going to remove the columns i don't need so i'm just going to select the columns and then delete so all i'm going to be left with are the five columns i need so let's just select all of those just control click and then delete so now we've got our five columns what we need to do is find a way of joining this table this excel file with our attribute table so let's go back and have a quick look at the attribute table. So as you can see, it's got the same state and county number, but we can't join on the county numbers because they all begin with the same number. Um, the first 50 counties, they all begin with 001 and so on. Um, the way the, you identify the counties is using the GOID, which is a combination of the state number and the county number, which then creates a unique number here. So we're going to try and create this um, GOID column from our Excel file. So let's go back to our Excel file. And what we need to do is basically join these two cells together. And because they're numbers, we need to treat them as text. Because if you just do 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0, it's just going to give you 0. So what you need to do, just give that name, column a name, is in your formula function here, write equals text, open brackets, then click on cell A4, comma, open quote, zero, zero, to basically signify that you want to keep both figures, and then an ampersand, and then text again, open, click on cell B4, comma, open quote, and then three zeros this time because there's three numbers there, close quote, close parentheses, and hit enter. And there you'll see you've got our five zeros. So in order to fill this entire column, just click on the first cell and then scroll down till you get to the bottom of your table. Almost there. Okay, hold down the shift key and click on the last cell. Then go to home and you see this fill. Click on that and click on the down one. And that basically fill in the entire table with all of the um, cells. So what we need to do now is just select the first row and we just want to delete that. So our column headings are at the top. So just delete that. And now we just want to save this as a CSV. So choose your format, CSV, save that. Now when you've saved your CSV file, you need to um, go ahead and create a, another file. 
It's just a simple text file because when you join a CSV file to a shape file inside QGIS, QGIS needs to know what type of data is in each column. Um, so if you just bring in a CSV straight into QGIS, it just treats all of the columns as strings. So your poverty column here will be treated as a string and it won't be able to calculate how to do the um, corpleth colouring. So you just need to go to any text file, text editor. I'm just going to open up the CSV so you can see what I'm talking about. So basically you've got your column headings, state FIPS, county FIPS, postal name, poverty and GOID. Um, if you just drag this straight in, it's going to treat all of these as strings. Um, so what you need to do is create a separate text file. First of all, I just want to get rid of that top line there. So we've got the um, column headers right at the top. Just save that. So you just basically need to create a new text file and start off by putting string. And just copy that and paste it in six times because we've got six columns one, two, three, four, five, six. So put string in six times, lose the comma from the end, and you just need to put in the word integer for the column that we need to treat as a number, which in this case is the poverty one. So in here, just type in the word integer. And you need to save this as the same name as your CSV, but just put a T on the end. So it's a CSV text file. So save that, and now, Drag your CSV into QGIS, just like that. And it appears as a little table file here. So now we're going to do the join of the table to the shape file. So double click on the layer, go to joins, click the green plus sign. The join layer is the ES10 all, and the column we're going to join on is GOID and the target field is also GOID. So let's OK that and OK that. And you'll now see when we look at the attribute table that all of the data from our spreadsheet has now been correctly pulled in to our file. So now what we need to do is color it up. So double click on your layer to style and there's a couple of choices you can either have categorized or the other one is graduated so graduated let's select the poverty column and you've got a choice of how many classes you want so basically it means how many categories let's just click the classify button here so now you've chosen your column for the poverty click on classify and it creates these um, color bounds so the data it's looking at is between 0 and 50, and it's created five bounds. If you increase the classes, you have as many colors as you want. You can also obviously change the colors. Choices are up to you, completely up to you, how you uh, classify and what colors you choose and how many intervals. I always suggest using the natural breaks, the Jenks um, method of distributing the data. It just distributes them um, the colors in the best way. Um, normally, it tries to get an equal, more equal number of um, data into each category. So you can see that the categories aren't evenly spread out. It's not 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 30 to 40, and so on. So if you go ahead and apply that, you'll see now you have a beautiful chloropleth um, for the data that we have pulled in on, from the CSV. So the other thing we want to do now is just change the projection. So Command Shift P to bring up your project and choose the USA contiguous Albers equal area conic projection. This is a nice one for the US um, and it gives that nice curve on the uh, Canadian border. So but as you can see, Alaska and Hawaii are obviously big and quite a long way away from our, our main map. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to create a nice view in the print composer consisting of the main mainland of the US with Alaska and Hawaii just down here in the bottom left corner. So let's first of all zoom in on the US. 
bring up a print composer. Uh, A4 is fine and just add a new map. So the usual way, click on the curly piece of paper, add in our new map. Now just go back to your main window and now what we're going to do is choose a different projection. So we're going to choose the Alaska Albers equal area. So choose that and then just zoom in on Alaska. Set. And then go back to your print composer and then just add another map in. So there's our Alaska in the bottom left corner. Then again, similarly as before, go back to your map, zoom out, zoom in on Hawaii, and then go back to your project properties and change the projection to Hawaii Albers equal area conic. And just zoom in. And then again, back to your print composer, add another map. And there. So now, when you save this, you now have your mainland, your Alaska, and your Hawaii all on the equal area projections and all in one nice shape with Alaska and Hawaii nicely tucked in the corner. Now, you can obviously add a legend here at this point, or you can then export this map and take it into um, Illustrator or Inkscape. So, I'm just going to quickly show you how to add a legend. So, let's just click on this button here add new legend and then just click and drag a little window um, and then just resize your map and just reposition it so you've got space for your legend so there you go that's our map with our legend in obviously like I say I would prefer I prefer to actually create this legend inside um, a vector editing program just so you've got more control over it but um, if you need to do a quick map and you're happy with the uh, legend provided by QGIS, then uh, by all means use it.